Welcome to the A Side for February 2019. In this video, I'm gonna, as usual, tell you about the albums coming out this month that I'm looking forward to. Also, give you a little bit of information about TMR Fest and share some of the records coming in this month. You're not gonna want to miss this. Stick around. Before we start this video, I just want to say if you're not subscribed to this channel and you want to see awesome content, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I put out videos at least once a week. I do live streams almost once a week and I'm constantly talking about this awesome record collection. So make sure you're subscribed. Thank you. All right, album's coming out this month that I'm looking forward to. The first is by Men I Trust. Men I Trust is putting out Uncle Jazz. Now, I really like their sultry synth pop stylings. Their last album was really excellent and they have one of those sounds that I can kind of just listen to forever. I haven't heard a single track from this, but I'm assuming if they follow in that path, this is going to be one of the cooler albums of the year. So definitely listen to it if you like that kind of R&B indie synth pop vibe. Health is releasing volume four, Slaves of Fear. Health, the only way to describe them I think is kind of like noisy, loud electro rock, but done in a really crisp way and also a really catchy way. I don't really usually love electro rock, that's not really one of my favorite genres, but health manages to make it heavy enough that it really kind of blows you away, but clean enough that it's not jarring and pushes you away. So I really like their last album and I'm really excited to hear where they go with this one. I'm hoping it's more like the last and not going further into the noisy section, but you never know. Really excited to see what they're doing. Copeland is putting out Blushing. Copeland has been a band since my high school days that I've been a fan of. Really pretty, piano-based, beautiful emo rock. Not even rock, just kind of like emotional music. And it's great. Some of their albums are just breathtaking. I loved Ixora, their most recent album. I don't know if this new album is going to be like Ixora, if they're going to continue experimenting with their sound. Honestly, I'm kind of on board with whatever he does. So excited for Blushing. Hopefully it's as gorgeous as everything else they've ever done. Wicca Phase Springs Eternal is coming out with Phase On, second album. Wicca Phase Springs Eternal is, I believe, the side project of one of the guys from Tiger's Jaw, which I think was the guitarist or the singer, maybe they're the same. I didn't really listen to Tiger's Jaw, but Tiger's Jaw is a much more kind of like pop punk, punk-ish band, and this is very firmly planted in the kind of emo introspective rap that's really popular these days, kind of like the Lil Peep-esque stuff a little bit of the more introspective little ugly man stuff and I really like that world and I'm really excited to hear what they have and I'm looking forward to the next album because their first one was a definite sleeper hit and this one from the first single is gonna live up to it so a huge departure from his usual sound from his other project but this artist if you like that kind of emo rap scene that's happening right now is definitely gonna be one you want to put on your radar and then finally Zarface meets Ghostface Killer I mean I like Zarface I like Ghostface Killer but in the same vein, I liked Sarface and I liked MF Doom, but their collab album was forgettable. I don't know exactly what this is going to be like, especially since I think Doom is better than Ghostface, but Inspector Deck and Ghostface have more of a history together from the Wu-Tang Clan. So I don't really know what to expect. I'm definitely going to listen to it because I like hip hop, but not expecting a lot because I think Sarface is best on his own. I think Ghostface is best on his own, but hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised. TMR Fest is fast approaching, as you guys know. Really excited. All you guys that have been reaching out and telling me you're excited for it has made me even more amped for this. The amount of work ahead is insurmountable, but I will get it done. I'm excited for those of you that said you're flying out for it. First of all, that's absolutely insane, and I'm excited to meet you. Make sure you're part of the Facebook group. I have a group where I'm updating people in real time when new developments unfold about the fest and if you're not in that group you're not gonna get the fastest updates i will be updating the channel with big updates i just announced who the bands are and there'll be a video about that soon really excited about the bands that are performing i'm really excited about some of the ideas i've had like a live podcast more information about that soon lots of cool stuff some raffle prizes are coming in that you guys are gonna be really stoked on the records are taking shape about what i'm gonna be selling hopefully i'll do some more live streams in february we can kind of dig into some of that and talk about the ethos of why i'm doing this what i'm selling what the pricing is gonna be like very reasonable so look forward to tmr fest those that can make it i'm really excited to hang out those that can't there will still be a second phase where you'll have a chance to get some of these records before anyone else on the internet does so make sure you're a fan of too many records because you're going to get an awesome chance to take home some of this wonderful collection and if you don't have a facebook but you want to make sure you're up to date with all the small info before i do a video email tmrmerch at gmail.com which is our merch email and i will add you to a special list where i'll give you any of the pertinent updates when they come up so you don't have to make a facebook if you want to avoid zuckerberg's evil grasp 
As for albums coming in this month, I only really know about my bootleg Super Mario World record, which I'm really excited to get. It's on yellow vinyl, and I thought I would have it for the B-side last month, but I guess shipping's taking a little bit longer. I know it's on the way. I will be showing it off in the B-side, because that game slaps. As for the rest of the stuff I'm getting in, it's kind of a mystery. I was looking at my list that I keep, which is like a scroll of all the records I'm getting in, and most of them don't have concrete release dates or are not coming out in February. So I'm really not sure what's gonna be in the B-side. I know there will be records, so I'll be showing some off throughout the month in live streams as I get them, and anything worth talking about at length, I'll save for the B-side, so make sure you stick around for that. All right, guys, this is a short A-side, but I think it was a pretty good one. I think we got really close. We had some good bonding. There's more videos to come, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this a like if you liked it. Leave me a comment with the best song you've heard recently. I wanna add some new music to my collection. Thanks for watching guys, more videos soon.